Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to HP. I need to mute need to mute people. Yes, I will. Thank you. Hi everybody, good morning, good day, good evening. Welcome to HP Math 3.0, congratulations. Well done. So I'm gonna hand it over to Fatma who would actually take it from here. And I would say welcome again and congratulations. Fatma, it's all yours. Excited, thank you. Right, so this is our HP Math 3 uh, graduation, congratulations. This is the third one and one of the biggest ones uh, that we've had. Our number of mentors and mentees continues to increase. We're really excited that um, you've had six months of being mentored by a more experienced teacher where you've learned from each other. And also this time around, we had the HP executives meeting with the mentors once a month. So things are just getting better and better. You've got uh, Mr. Tundi Abuke uh, joining us today. Uh, you're welcome today. Thank you for all your support. We're also going to be having Misika, sorry, Emmanuel Asika from um, HP. We're going to be joined by Samantha Boynton from Girl Rising. We have Anshu Gova from uh, the Social Impact Program. We also have Sandy Nkole from Zambia. And of course, uh, where would we be without our CEO, Mr. Hakim Zuber, uh, the great mind behind all this. You're all welcome, Masa, Masadikli uh, Brittany. And we've got Anshu Grover as well. So we're really excited to have all these great people in our midst to celebrate uh, our achievements over the past six months. And Charlie Redman, uh, the big man from HP, I've just seen him on my screen. Thank you to anybody else. So uh, we're good to go. Uh, today, I think it's over to you. Thank you, Fatima. Um, welcome, everybody, and thank you for again for giving us an opportunity to engage with all of you all in HP Matt. As Fatima said, this is HP Matt 3.0, and we are extremely excited that the program has grown to the size it has. So, without further ado, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to share my screen, and I'm going to introduce our masterclass executive speaker, my boss. Uh, one second, let me share my screen, make sure all of you all can see this. Can you all see my screen? Yes, we do. Okay, yes. all right. So uh, our master class executive speaker today is uh, Brittany Masalasalo. She is the global head of government affairs and public policy. And I know firsthand um how important mentoring is to her and you can probably just search her name anywhere on the internet and you'll see her constantly talking yeah. about the importance of mentoring and why it is critical to the success of everyone right especially women and girls so without further ado um i want to pass the mic to uh to you Brittany. Thank you, Tunde, and I'm so excited to be here. I'm so happy to see you all this afternoon. I could not be um, more proud to have this opportunity to come and chat with everybody. Um, look, Tunde mentioned it. <clears throat> I am a, excuse me, you guys. I am a lifelong learner and a dedicated advocate to the importance of mentorship. My, uh, my start in life, my start in my professional career and my education would not have been possible if I didn't have mentors that were willing to reach out to me, willing to pull me under their ring and really willing to guide me along. 
that is what really struck me in my earliest, most formative moments about the importance of men of mentorship. And I could not be more proud to be somebody that passes that along and encourages others. I only have 10 minutes, so I don't want to spend a whole lot of time talking about myself, but I do want to spend a little bit of time talking about a couple of things that are important to me and why I could not be more proud of this HP Mac cohort. I mentioned that I'm a lifelong, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm a lifelong um, advocate for mentors, but I'm also a lifelong learner. And probably most importantly than that is that I'm a mom. And being that I'm a mom, mentorship and education particularly have an important place for me because it's not just about me and the path that I'm charting and all the brilliant professionals that I get to work alongside, but it's also about the next generation and empowering them. The three things that I want to speak about most importantly today are education, mentorship, and equity in that context of me being a mother, me being focused on the next generation of our brilliance that's coming through our society. So starting with education, we have all heard the two adages, knowledge is power and your education is the one thing no one can ever take from you. I grew up hearing it all the time. My mom said it to me, my auntie said it to me, and it's something that I say to my kids now and I internalize it. Um, those that know me know that this is not just lip service, that I actually walk the walk. I'm always taking a class or joining a course or trying to learn something, and I'm always encouraging others to do the same. It's one of the reasons why I'm so proud to be involved in the HP Matt work that, um, that we're all a part of today and that we're all able to celebrate. Those two facts, knowledge is power, and that your education is the one thing that no one can take for you, is one of the reasons why the work that we do is so important. Because at the core, education is empowerment, and our educators are our empowerers. So thank you. Thank you to everybody that's on the line today. Thank you for your remarkable accomplishments. And then mentorship. I spoke a bit about how mentorship was formative to me. I'm a mother, so I Pray to God that my children are able to find good mentors as they chart their professional lives and their professional careers. But, but mentorship is really about much more than that. Mentorship is about paying it forward. It's about making sure that others get the opportunity to reap the benefits of the lessons that each of us have learned throughout our lives. Um, Mentorship is also about making sure that the wisdom that comes to you, the wisdom that you've gained and earned, has an opportunity to flow through you. The life-changing value of membership, of mentorship, is evident day in and day out. We see it all around us, and we see it all across the screen. So once again, thank you. And then I want to talk a little bit about equity. And equity is about need. And I'll tie all these together here shortly, education, membership, mentorship, and equity. Equity is about making sure that everyone has access to what they need in order to grow, thrive, and blossom. Need is being the key word there. It's also about courage. It's also about being targeted and understanding where need is more most pressing. And I would be remiss if I didn't take a minute to speak on the other element of mentorship, education, and equity that's also very important to me, and that's about empowering women and girls. <clears throat> I think this is critical. I think women and girls should always be considered in this context, and I mean always. Talent and brilliance does not discriminate. It doesn't discriminate by gender. There are brilliant women and girls all around this world on this screen that we can see right now. And I think that we should all take up the mantle to make sure that we're given the opportunity to that brilliance to shine through. And I wanna give a special thank you to the men that are champions for women and girls, because it's sometimes a little bit more difficult. It's easier for us women to be able to champion each other. So to the men that display that courage, I wanna say thank you. And I, and I see that I'm coming up close on time. So I will wrap it all up and give my thoughts about education, mentorship, and equity. At the core of all of that, is digital literacy. And digital literacy is about taking those three concepts and equipping everyone with the skills that they need to navigate the digital world. Um, as we see in the 21st century and beyond, that's going to become a critical life skill. It's a critical form of literacy, just like learning how to read was. I could not be more proud of you all and the work that we are all doing together to achieve digital equity. And congratulations to everybody. Back to you, Tunde. 
Thank you so much for that, Brittany. Um, it, it's funny because I know on one of the earlier, one of the earlier mentor advisor panels that we had with a couple of other HP leaders, there were questions around how do you how do you balance your time in mentoring versus other commitments that you have, right? And I know for a fact that you had a host of other commitments right in the middle of this presentation. So I really appreciate you taking the time to still come out here and speak to all of our educators in the middle of your hectic and crazy at work day. Each and day, it's my pleasure. You know, this is this is the funnest thing I get to do all day. <laughs> Definitely. Well, thank you, Brittany, and uh, talk to you soon. Now, next up, I want to I want to introduce somebody who you all are very familiar with, uh, or at least you should be very familiar with. He is our global head of education. He is the gentleman who helped make sure this program was created and funded and se helped secure the future of this program. Um, and I'm talking about Charlie Radman. Charlie, you want to hop on? Oh, thank you, Tunde. And uh, first of all, I just want to say to all of the uh, team uh, at, at One Million Teachers, it has been an honor to be associated with you for the last, I want to say, three years. Because it feels like longer, but it also feels shorter because so much has happened over the last three years. And so I'm just completely thrilled uh, by it. Uh, Hakeem and, and Rizma and Fatima, thank you so much for your partnership, always in your passion for everything that you do, everything that you do in life, you have incredible passion for. And so I, I want to thank you for that. Additionally, I just want to say a huge congratulations to all of the graduates today. I was honored to be part of the first graduating class and, and speak of the first graduating class. And I know Brittany just did an amazing job um, speaking at, uh, at your graduation class this year. But I just want to say congratulations to everyone. And I was an unscheduled speaker. I am just here to, uh, to celebrate you. And so I will uh, turn it back to uh, to tune day but amazing job to everyone so congratulations definitely uh charlie was definitely unscheduled he, he showed up so we said we got to make him speak right he's here um so finally from the hp side last but definitely not least i want to pass the mic to anshu because anshu has been my partner in crime and making sure that on a daily basis we're collaborating with Hakeem and uh, Rizma to make sure this program and our entire partnership is successful. So Anshu. Thank you, Tunde. Uh, thank you so much for having me as part of this event today. I'm, I'm very excited. Um, I'll start with a quick introduction because I know people don't know me here. Um, my name is Anshu. I work for HP's Global Social Impact Team. Uh, as part of my role, I work very closely with our nonprofit partners, Gold Rising, One Million Teacher, and a few others that are helping HP on, the, on its road to accelerate digital equity. Uh, and first and foremost, I really want to um, give a big, big congratulations to every single person who is uh, who's graduating today. And thank you so much uh, for making this program a big success. And we look forward to having you um, as, as mentors next year. Um, being here today uh, kind of made me go back in time and, and analyze the impact that my teachers had on me uh, throughout my life. And um, I mean, I, I did most of my education back in India. We were we had at least 60, 70, if not more students in our class. But yet I realized that despite all of that, I have so many vivid memories of our teachers, of my teachers saying things that inspired me or completely changed the way I thought. Uh, and I'm sure that that is the case with, with most of us here. Um, I do also feel that the role of educators is, is sometimes undervalued, probably around the world, perhaps by educators themselves. Uh, and I do agree, and I think we all agree that there are several challenges on the way, but that doesn't change the fact that, that teachers have a fundamental role to play in shaping us into who we are. And I just wanted to take a moment to thank all of you for your tremendous hard work that you're putting um, putting into shaping our future generations. So thank you so much, all of you, and wish you all the very best. Um, and also before I hand over back to Tunde, I want to thank Rizma, Hakeem, Tunde, and Fatima for pulling this program together. And also thanks to all of our HP colleagues for uh, for participating so enthusiastically. Thank you so much. Back to you, Tunde. 
Thank you, Anshu. And I'll just echo what Anshu said. Um, congratulations again to everybody on graduating. And thank you, um, 1MT and Girl Rising for being amazing partners. So with that, I believe I'm passing the mic over to Sam. Uh, great, thanks Tunde. Uh, hi everyone, I'm so honored and grateful to be here to share this day with you all and a big congratulations to everyone here. My name is Sam and I work for Girl Rising and I manage our partnership and programs with One Million Teachers. Uh, Brittany spoke at the beginning about girls empowerment and that's all we do at Girl Rising. Uh, for those who are less familiar with Girl Rising, our mission is to use storytelling to change the way that the world values girls and their education. And we do this through our content and our programs and our movement building. We create change so that girls are free to go to school and complete their education and pursue futures of their choosing. We run programs in many countries, including Nigeria, with many partners like One Million Teachers. And through our work with these partners, we provide training to thousands of teachers across the continent on gender. I've known Hakeem for a long time now. I actually met him when I was in Teachers College myself, training to be a teacher here in Canada. So teachers have always been at the forefront of the work that we've done together. Uh, at Girl Rising, we started our journey with One Million Teachers in Nigeria about two years ago now, I think, uh, and it's been an incredible journey. With the support of HP, we've been able to create our online training on gender, which now lives on the One Million Teachers platform as part of the Black Belt program. And it's our hope that through taking this course, teachers like yourselves can gain the attitudes and skills and knowledge that are needed to empower both boys and girls. Um, when it comes to education, everything begins with teachers. Teachers are the single most important determinant in everything that a child does in their education. And at Girl Rising, we want to continue to invest in teachers and support teachers so that they can better support and empower girls around the world. So it's been a privilege to be on this journey with you all, and we look forward to everything that's to come. A big thank you to Tunde for all of his incredible work. Uh, this partnership and this program really wouldn't have happened without him. And just the biggest thank you as always to Hakeem and Rizma and Fatima and the rest of the incredible One Million Teachers team. We are so grateful to be able to partner with you. And a massive congratulations again to everyone on this call who participated in the program. We're so thankful to you and thank you again for having us join your celebration event today. And I think it's back to you, Fatima. Yeah, thank you, today. So now, you so said the proof is in the pudding. So now we've got... Uh, 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 months. Uh, Dokus, are you ready? Dokus from Uganda. She was the mentor to Patrick in Nigeria. Right, go on, Fatima. Hi, go ahead. Tell us how it was. Uh, your Thank experience you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, uh, Fatima, for the great job that you do to coordinate us, to keep us together, but also to get the best out of us. I want to take this opportunity to thank. Um, I, I didn't say good evening. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> I want to take this opportunity to thank. Uh, the HP team, and of course, to thank uh, our founder, amazing founder, Hakim, and, uh, and, and the amazing team behind him, Rizma, Fatma, and everyone else. Thank you so much for investing in this generation. Now, the experience was incredible. It was beautiful. It actually got something out of me. I'm sure some of you that follow me have seen that I've been able to get back on my writing journey inspired by my mentee. So one of the things that I've actually learned from this mentorship program is that while we are busy investing in these mentees, they, 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 they encourage us to get back to where we belong and that is touching lives. So for me, working with Patrick on this journey was a beautiful, exciting, 
uh, uh, six months of working with him. I loved his commitment. I loved the fact that he was open to learning. I loved the fact that he was open to going an extra mile, but also I was able to go an extra mile that even beyond what was given to us to mentor these people, I would do research about the topics, I would do research about leadership and everything, and I would be able to share the content with him. For those that have followed him, you realize that he's writing a lot and all that has been inspired by the conversations we've had. One of the things that I did with him was that at the end of every session, we should be able to come up with action points. And I shared some of those things with Hakim and uh, Fatma, that he should be able to come up with a work plan. Yes, I've started this course. Yes, I've had this program. But then how can I move this to my class, class setup? And I'm also excited that he took he took the idea of girl rising, supporting a girl child in his class to another level. He has had conversations, he's taking this personal, if I can say. So for me, I want to say that what really worked for me in this season was building relationships. I had to understand where is he? What is he struggling with? So besides thinking about uh, mentoring him, giving him what we've been given, I had to understand and then set goals that are within where he is and guide him and support him, tailor the program to fit his needs, his time, and of course, the pace, because the pace is not, uh, is not uniform. His pace was unique, and I can assure you, it has been a beautiful journey. It has been a beautiful journey. Thank you again, Hakim. Thank you again, the HP team. Thank you, Girl Rising. I'm excited that Girl Rising should come to Uganda, Kampala. Thank you again. Uh, and I want to congratulate the graduating class of 2023. I'm excited that we are expanding. Uh, I think I remember when we shared with Hakim when he had just visited Uganda, I didn't know how this would really play out but we are seeing it touch lives in Africa and in the rest of the world. Thank you so much and may God bless you. Thank you again. Wow, that is amazing. Thank you, Dr. It's really exciting um, that you had such a wonderful experience with Patrick. And I know at the beginning of this program, Docus was a bit disappointed because some of the mentees were not responding. And at the last minute, um, we offered uh, Patrick to her and he turned out to be worth waiting for. So well done. I'm really happy about that. Okay, Mudupe Ola. Mudupe Olani, are you ready? Mudupe Olani, our second um, mentor. Okay. Or maybe we'll move straight to Patrick. Yes. You know, Mudupe is here. Mudupe is here. All yes. right, go ahead, Mudupe. Mm -hmm. Nice yes. to have you. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Good evening. Good day, everyone. Evening. I am really delighted to be sharing my Himpa story with you all tonight. Well, today is a special day to every one of us uh, because we have achieved another feat in our profession. And, and congratulations to all of us today. Well, I can say that the six months uh, have been a journey of hard work, dedication, uh, resilience and, and perseverance, you know, and today is actually coming to an end, although it's really, it's a lifelong learning and learning never stops. Uh, yeah. Yes. Well, initially when, when I, I, I was an assigned mentee, I was a bit scared. Like I've never done through mentorship. I've never mentored anybody before. And for the first time I had eight mentees under me. It was, it was really, really amazing. Like I was a bit scared, but I actually soon realized that being a mentor is not about and, and leading from the front alone. It's not all about and just telling people what to do or you, you it's all about working together working collaborative together in an enabling environment so we're able to come together we're able to work together we're able to share our experiences we're able to you know to rub minds together and you know it was able to give us a concrete and soft landing as as a team also through our collaborations and our sessions 
uh, we have, we, we enhance our professional cap capabilities. Some of my mentees would say, I, I don't think I can do this thing. I, I don't even as a mentor, I would think I cannot achieve this thing. But you know, when we come together, when we uh, reason, when we collaborate together, we have that power to be able to do what we think we cannot do. So it gave us that professional capabilities that there is nothing as an educator that we cannot achieve. So what, those things are really, really things that, that really touched my heart as a mentor. And also we were able through our collaboration, we're able to build deeper understanding on some subject matters like uh, gender awareness. I, I have a mentee in my, in my team that said, in our own school, they don't give girls and prop. They, they, don't, they don't give girls, you know, that uh, enablement to be able to express themselves because they feel that girls are not really important. But through this uh, mentorship program, she was able to unlearn that every child has equal rights to education. Every child can be can strive. Every child needs that love. Every child needs that care whether a girl or a boy, a girl child or a boy child. So, you know, we have learned, we have learned so much. We have learned so much. We have learned so much. And most importantly, we have been able to build and foster that relationship. Most of them, I don't know them. We've not seen before. We've not met before, but, you know, through this, we become families. You know, some of them can call me anytime. We can relate anytime. They can, you know, so it's something of joy to me that, you know, you're building relationship, you're building network, you're collaborating with people that you've even never met before. So it's something of joy to me. And uh, you will agree with me that the time spent is really, really valuable. It is engaging and it is enriching. It is really, really enriching. The time we spent together, was not a waste. It wasn't a waste of time. So I really want to appreciate and um, uh, my humble uh, CEO and um, Professor Akim Zubar, my dear COO Risma Bots, my mommy mentor. I call her mother mentor and leader, Ajia Fatima Ogujemi, for this real opportunity to build life and to make impact. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And congratulations to us all. Thank you. Gifts, um, and all the impacts on gender. Let's hear it from your side. Are you ready, Patrick? Yes, my, I am. Um... You're welcome. Go ahead. Well, I I have a lot to say, but I'll just read out my story so that I won't take much time. Well, my name is Prince Patrick Osadebe, and teaching has always been something I have always looked forward to do in my life. But I never had an inkling that there could be more to this profession until I came across the One Million Teacher Program introduced to my school, Cedar Presidential Private School by Mrs. Khadija Abdu'l-Wahab. Since then, my journey to becoming a teacher with a difference began. First, I was hesitant to start the program initially due to the potential data expenses involved, but I decided to proceed nonetheless. After commencing the program, I persevered, and after several months later, I was able to get the first down black belt. Later on, I was introduced to the HP Math program. And honestly, I began to learn so many things through my mentor, Ms. Doku, Mrs. Dokus Magabo, Mag, Magoba, sorry. I began to learn a lot of things, especially on the girl rising aspect. I got to learn more about gender equality and equity. Now in my school, I have girls participating in various activities, the science club, the drama club, the safety and security club, various things that we saw that only boys participate in, but now we see girls participating in them. 
And also through the mentorship program, I got to come across the HP Live courses. And honestly, I took everything in me towards it. And to God be the glory, I was able to finish up all the courses, adding so much to my knowledge. It really sharpened my mind into various areas. I really have seen myself, in fact, improve in so many ways in my teaching methodology and in my approach to the profession. Lastly, I want to appreciate my amiable director, um, Mr. Solomon, for the privilege of bringing, uh, for the wonderful privilege that he brought one million teacher into the school. And to my coordinator, Ms. Khadija Abdu'ahab. In fact, she's somebody that I will live to always remember. Her, her energy, her unwavering support and everything. In fact, she's just dynamic. Then I appreciate so much Mrs. Dokus Magoba. In fact, she has been someone that has pushed out the lion in me. Presently, she has made me now see that yes, my writing skills that were dormant, I, it, it has been awoken. And lastly, I want to say a big thank you to Dr. Hakim, Mrs. Rizma, Mrs. Fatima, and every one of the one million teacher organization. In fact, you people are the world champions and kudos to you all. Thank you. Right, thank you so much, Pat. Let's move on quickly to the next mentee. Are you with us, Kari? Okay, there's Aurelia, Aurelia Muyunda from Zambia. I think we can move forward. I don't think so. She is there. The reason I think Fatima's audio might have also dropped. Yeah, she just came back on. Yeah, I here know. she goes. Something is a glitch in my network connectivity, uh, but I can see Kari. I can see Kari Glory ready to speak. So we'll just carry on with Kari. Unmute yourself and share your story. Okay, thank you. Thank you for this chance, Fatma. And uh, this has been a journey that has, has taken six months. Actually, I was given a mentor, but he backed sometimes after two months. And uh, I embarked on this journey three months late, and I was able to complete among the, the first that completed the program. I completed uh, some weeks before the time that we were supposed to complete. And I give credit to my mentor, who is Fatma. Thank you also, Akim, our CEO. It's a good job. Uh, Personally, I am passionate about education, not only my education, but as well as the students that I teach. And it has impacted me a lot. For example, on gender, gender equity, about girls, how you should teach them, how you should arrange them in classroom, the textbook that they use, how do they use the language there, for example, many books tend to lean too much on girls. Others tend to lean too much on boys. Others give examples of the stories that are in those books are about boys. And you, you see now the girls have been left aside. And it has been a good program for me. Uh, another thing is about how we socialize our girls. 
I learned that we have been brought up, especially as Africans, how to socialize our girls to be perfect, of which it is almost impossible to be perfect as a person. And it has taught me that to be a go-getter. I'm a lady, but I'm supposed to be a, to be a go-getter. For example, when there is a job application, you apply even though you, you don't meet all the qualifications. Because, for example, boys tend to apply for jobs even when they don't meet the qualifications. And I have learned a lot of things from that. Sometimes when I started, I thought I will, I will not finish the journey. Sometimes I would tell my mentor that I, I don't have the data for the, the bubbles to attend the classroom. And she was so understanding. And now I'm here graduating. And I am so grateful to everyone, to my mentor, Fatma, to Akim, to, to Rizma Bat. It has been a good journey. And I enjoyed it. And if called upon another program, I will be on the forefront because I'm passionate about it. Actually, this, this week, we, um, uh, I was a black belt. I graduated last year. We were the first class in Kenya. I come from Kenya. So in our WhatsApp group, uh, our coordinator asked us about who is the co-founder of One Million Program or One Million Teachers Program. And the person who got the question would be given a one million teacher's t-shirt. And uh, I was the first person to answer that. And I said it was Rizuma Bat from Pakistan. And I was so glad that I own a t-shirt from one million teachers. And I will be so glad after this HP Mat 3, if there's another course, I will be glad to do it because this is so enlightening not only to students, but also to teachers. So thank you, Fatma. Thank you, Akim. Thank you, everyone. And congratulations. We made it. Thank you. Yes, you made it, uh, Glory Carey. Now you are a mentor. Now you are going to mentor others. That's the next challenge. So that's the next Absolutely, job for you. And well done for being a great mentee always enthusiastic, always willing to learn. And we shared so many stories and experiences together. Well done, Glory. Okay, Aurelia Muyunda. Aurelia Muyunda, are you there? Uh, Rizma, maybe we'll play her video. Um, okay, I'll find her with you. Give me one second. Okay, so Aurelia is from uh, Zambia. And she was uh, another of the mentees. Okay, so um, while we're waiting uh, for the video, just want to say another congratulations to all the mentees. You are now mentors. Uh, Fatma, we don't have a video, so that's okay. We can move forward. Okay. All right, then. So, yes, I was just saying well done to all you mentees. We're passing on the button to you today in this relay, six-month relay race. You are now mentors, so you are now taking on the button and passing it on which is what uh, One Million Teachers is all about. Uh, you raise others, uh, you lead by raising others. So once you've got your black belt, the next step is to help other teachers uh, on their journey, um, the continuous professional development, the continuous learning. And we are very, very um, opportune to have the uh, HP life courses that teach you everything about life. So there's so many courses that you can take um, that help you with goal setting, with leadership, uh, with entrepreneurship, you know, so many courses thanks to um, HP that you can do uh, at your own uh, leisure. 
Uh, you've also learned so many life skills um, to help you and guide you on your way to becoming a fantastic teacher and um, leading other teachers. So that's the story of HP Math 3. Now all of you are going to move on to the next stage and we hope that HP Math 4 is going to be even bigger and better. And we look forward to having those executive uh, meetings with HP. We really enjoyed that. And um, I think one thing that this uh, HP Math 3 has taught a lot of us is um, resilience and not giving up. And the message that came through through all those um, executive classes was about showing empathy, putting ourselves in the other, in the mentees' shoes and not giving up on the mentees and always reaching out for them and always trying to, to bring them along. So once again, thank you so much to Mr. Tunde, uh, Tandy Ukole. I think I saw her on earlier. She is, she is here. I, yeah. Hi, Tandy. Hi, Fatima. Do you, hi. Hi, Rizma. Do you want me to go ahead? Sure. Fatima, do you want her to go ahead? Are you? Yes, yes, Tandy. Please go ahead. Thank you, Fatima. And thank you, everybody. I'm sorry I can't have my camera on because I'm in transit. I was in Zambia for our first graduation. Um, so we're just heading back to, to Canada. Um, but it's, it's so wonderful to be here today to uh, be able to see the graduates who are um, graduating today from, be, from being mentees to being mentors. Um, we had 100 teachers graduate on J July 7th in Zambia, the first graduation ever. And um, the excitement was overwhelming. Um, I remember when we were speaking with the first uh, 20 who registered in January and were saying our target is 50 uh, by June. So when we were approaching June, there were so many teachers who wanted to finish and graduate because of how interesting the content was and how much they were learning. And when they would learn, they would share with other teachers and those teachers who hear about maybe a belt they haven't yet gotten to would get so motivated that they would sit and want to get to, to the next belt. So it was really wonderful to spend time with these teachers and hear about how the content they've been learning has been changing the way they interact with students in the classroom and how they see their profession. I think that's really very important because um, in many of our, my country, Zambia, we don't really regard teachers that highly. We, they have so much influence and impact on students and sometimes we forget that. Um, and so being able to see that and going back to my school because the graduates were 90% from my former elementary school um, was really a, a personal joy to see. Um, two of the teachers who graduated were actually my coach, netball coach and my class teacher in grade four. So it was um, really good to see that they're still doing what they do um, after so many years. Um, I don't want to say my age, but <laughs> it, it has been. <laughs> it's great to see that they're still doing this so well. Um, and so my um, encouragement to just everybody who is here today and the mentees and mentors is that you're doing an amazing job and continue to do that um, because do not, you do not underestimate the impact you have on students. I was once a student who was impacted by teachers who continue to impact um, students today. So HP, Girl Rising, One Million Teachers, thank you so much for putting this content together and for continuing to raise our teachers because they are um, influencing the leaders of tomorrow. So thank you. Thank you, Tani. Thank okay. you so much. I would say on behalf of Hakeem and I, I would like to thank you for all the hard work you're doing in Zambia. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Right. So uh, once again, uh, congratulations to all the mentees that have now become mentors. We hope um, that you're going to pass on the 
all the skills that you've learned from your mentors doing the HP Math 3. And that next time for HP Math 4, it's going to be even bigger and better. Um, I wonder if uh, Mr. Hakim, you'd like to add anything? Um, Fatima, thank you very much. Uh, I'm so, so overwhelmed with uh, emotion right now. I don't know. Um, you guys probably noticed uh, I'm in a place near Lake Kivu in, uh, in Rwanda, and there is no light. Um, we're actually using Arinze's uh, phone uh, to, to light up our face a little bit. So, but I'm really, really appreciative of everybody, uh, Fatima, Rizma, um, for your hard work. Um, I mean, I, I would be remiss if I don't even start with uh, Tunde and Anshu, Charlie, you know, the whole HP team, uh, day in, day out. You know, we actually have a WhatsApp group. We have conversations regularly. Um, just so appreciative of all of your support and help uh, to... Um, Brittany, thank you so much. Um, and uh, our dear mentors and our mentees, really appreciate you. You, if you, uh, if anytime we we feel like we're exhausted, you guys are the reason uh, why we show up every day. And um, you energize us. Um, you make it worth all of the effort. Uh, so just really, really grateful. I just saw Abby here. Uh, Abby is our executive director for One NTKS. Amazing, amazing job. There are so many people behind the scene, um, um, even though you get to see Fatima, Rizman, and I more often, but there are so many other members of the team. Uh, Nick, um, Malcolm, um, Arinze is here with me, running around, sharing so many people. And um, um, yeah, I just, uh, I'm grateful for this opportunity. It's a privilege to be able to do this and I don't take it for granted. So thank you very much, everybody. Uh, thank you, Hakeem. Yes, um, once again, HP, thank you for all your support. Like we said, the HP live courses, the executive meetings, the collab, I'm grateful for all that you do. And um, all the people that have joined us today, spend their time, Anshu, Samantha, Sandy, um, Charlie, all of you today, thank you so much. Um, we're going to continue to work together to see how we can make this even bigger and better and impact our communities. We, we are really, really excited um, the way we've reached out to people all over Africa, people who would, would have been impossible for me to meet Kari Glory if not for, you know, the HP Max, the One Million Teachers, um, this uh, virtual platform that we've created and we're reaching out to people all over Africa, people in Zambia, Uganda, Kenya. It's so exciting and it can only get better. So the next time we meet probably to launch um, HP Map 4, we're going to go sit down, put our heads together, um, probably in a month or two months time, maybe later September, uh, we'll be back uh, to launch um, HP Map 4. And like I keep saying, it's going to be bigger and better. Things can only get better. So once again, thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. We're so excited. We're so happy. We're so proud of you, all the mentors and mentees and HP, uh, Girl Rising. And if I haven't mentioned you also, yeah, like Mr. Kim said, Mr. Sheung for all the certificates, Arinze, all the people that are working, Abby, all the people working behind the scenes to make this a success. We're really grateful and uh, thank you very much. So, um, uh, Rizma, any, anything else? I would say that's it. And I would say congratulations again, everybody. And thank you for all the hard work. I would say from HP, Girl Rising, and from my amazing team of One Million Teachers. Thank you, everybody. And congratulations to all the mentees and mentors. And we'll stay in touch for sure. If you want to take screenshots of this event, do take those. I've taken some and I'll share those with you as well. Congratulations, everybody. It's time to celebrate. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations. Also, don't forget to hashtag 
um, HP, 1 million teachers, Girl Rising. When you're posting all these pictures on social media, make sure you put um, all the social media um, hashtags in front of it, okay? So have a great time being mentors. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Are we not taking group pictures this time around? Yes. Okay. Put your cameras on. Uh, bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Well done, everyone. Congratulations Thank to you very team. much. I'll take you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you. You are part of this community. That should be a part of the very great family. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, my amazing mentor. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you very much. We have we really benefit from the program. Thank you very much. Thank you, HP. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mrs. Fatima. Thank you, Mrs. Fatima. We really appreciate it. Nice to see you all. Yes, this is my boss. He did a wonderful <laughs> Oh, Hajira. Okay, all my mentees are here. Hajira is here. Thank all you very much, Ma. I'm missing you already. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Risma. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Risma. Thank you so much. Hajira, I saw you. Hajira. 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 Hajira.